Unfortunately, our immigration system has been badly broken for a very long time. It's been nearly a year since President Donald Trump first called the situation at the southern border a humanitarian crisis. At the time, leading Democrats rejected that language and dismissed it as a manufactured crisis. Ironically, it is now the Democrats who are trumpeting a crisis at the border, hoping to score political points by pointing to the conditions of detention facilities now overrun by record numbers of migrants. As CBTV recently reported, border officials are receiving tens of thousands of Central American migrants every month. What's unprecedented isn't just the numbers of illegal migrants, but that they are families with children requesting asylum. Border facilities are best equipped for arresting and processing scattered single males crossing from Mexico in search of work. And now asylum seekers, including women and children, find themselves sleeping shoulder to shoulder in the small concrete cells of American detention centers with no better option. Motels, churches, Salvation Army thrift stores, even highway overpasses and bridges are being converted to makeshift shelters for migrant families awaiting court dates. Border towns are overwhelmed and in chaos. Today, the American public is much more aware of the unmistakable chaos and human suffering surrounding the border, and Democrats are now forced to openly acknowledge it. But the crisis continues, and the two major parties still remain starkly divided over the central debate, whether to establish a secure border and an orderly, consistently enforced immigration system. After all, the recent crisis is far from the first. For decades, insecurity at the border has driven down American wages, allowed cynical businesses to take advantage of undocumented migrants, and paved the way for countless human rights abuses, including deadly drug and sex trafficking, human smuggling, kidnapping, murder, and rape. The United States Council of Catholic Bishops has rightly emphasized the human dignity of migrants and asylum seekers. The Catechism of the Catholic Church also offers some insight that could help Catholics bring a moral core to the border debate. The more prosperous nations are obliged, to the extent they are able, to welcome the foreigner, the Catechism states. But for the sake of the common good, the Catechism goes on, political authorities may make the exercise of the right to immigrate subject to various juridical conditions, especially with regard to the immigrants' duties toward their country of adoption. And, according to the Catechism, immigrants are obliged to obey the laws of the country to which they wish to migrate. As the debate continues, Catholics ought to focus on the common good and on the human dignity of all involved. Today, we can see more clearly than ever that there are real human costs at stake. So instead of cheap rhetoric aimed at scoring political points, we hope to see real solutions aimed at shaping the policies that affect human lives, the lives of migrants and of American citizens. This has been an episode of CVTV. Subscribe to CVTV on YouTube, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and sign up at catholicvote.org loop.